25 days ago, I did a review of Kim Kardashian's wedding. In that review, some of you may recall, I said that Kim Kardashian was walking down the aisle, cracking up, and that I strongly suspected her wedding was fake. Well, I got a lot of hate mail from that. I still have that video, but I got a whole lot of hate mail from you guys on that video. Y'all called me ugly. You said that I was just jealous of Kim Kardashian and she was so classy looking at her wedding and she was beautiful and blah, 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 blah. 75 days later. 17 million dollar fake and I'm telling you I'm not hating on Kim nor Chris Chris is from what I hear in the trash news a little on the broke side so he needed to sell himself to make a little bit of cash and more power to him make your money boo I noticed when I watched that wedding Chris didn't even look at I mean, he didn't even look at Kim. She's come down the aisle. Chris wasn't nervous. Chris wasn't looking. Chris was not a groom. Chris was hired help. That's my own opinion. And Kim, I mean, she was just as goofy and cracking up. I mean, she couldn't even put on the ring for counting the money. You know, she was running around that wedding, you know, million dollar here, two million dollar there, seventeen million dollar there. And I mean... Everybody's talking about, well, Chris is so broken up, and Kim just couldn't take the marriage. Like, i tell you what happened. I'm going to tell you what happened. This is the truth. In my observation, marriage lowers your value. When celebrities get married, we move on to single, more exciting celebrities. Therefore, the married celebrities oftentimes, except for a few, start to make a little less money, but they do things to come back like we're interested in their children and their family life and that sort of thing, but Kim wasn't having it. When she saw those dollars quit rolling in the same way they were rolling in, she's like, shoot, this wedding is fake anyway, and you, Blondie, are affecting my money. Keep it moving. You know, just keep it moving. Keep it pushing, Chris. Push on. Rock on with your bad self. And Chris, you know, just for his money's sake, you know, he's like, oh, I didn't even know I was getting divorced. I know you didn't. You were still trying to figure out a way to get a hold of some more of that money. Kim is in love with the dollar bill. I'm, I'll tell you when it's a real wedding. It's a real wedding when she's sitting up there and on the other side you see an open bank vault and they just have the bank vault hand her the ring. That's when it's a real wedding. Other than that, it's just not real. And I'm not mad at my girl. You know, shoot. As far as I'm concerned, you do you. Kim, you do you. If that's what makes you happy, I hope that you are finding some happiness. But if it makes you happy, and I enjoy the stories, I enjoyed watching the wedding, gave me something to talk about. Even this divorce gives me something to talk about. So I'm good with you, girl. You look good, you smell good, you're a regular businesswoman in my opinion, and, you know, kick that seven-foot-tall brother to the curb. Girl, do you. I'm not mad at you. <laughs>